Hi, it's Landy again. Welcome back to my video and my channel. Today, I am gonna be talking about five tips to follow up like a network marketing professional. Now, the first thing I'm gonna recommend is shifting your mindset. A lot of times we have this mindset, like we're annoying somebody, we shared a product or service with them, and we don't wanna follow up too much because we feel like we're annoying them. So here's how you shift your mindset. Following up is an act of love. Following up is the only way that you can help them change their situation. It is the only way that you can help them. So we have to shift our thoughts from being annoying to I'm helping this person. If you have a vehicle that can help change this person's life, that is the only way you can help them is to share that with them and to continue to follow up with them, okay? So following up is an act of love, shift your mindset. My tip number two is going to be probably one of the most powerful ways to follow up and it's very passive. Continue posting on your page and your stories, okay? So if you share a link with somebody about a product or service or a product or company, and then you never mention it on your page, you're not proud, you're not showing the world that you believe in this and it works, they're not really gonna trust you, okay? So even if they are not buying right away, they are watching you. So continuing to post on your social media is gonna be the number one thing that's gonna build their trust and build their belief in you. And you're gonna show them you, you believe in what you're doing and you're serious about it and it works, okay? So that's my second tip is continuing to post on your social media. And that's really the best way to follow up. The third thing I'm gonna mention is Continue to love and like and comment on their content, okay? Keep going over to their page, love, like on their post, show them that you care, show them you're still there, whether they joined or bought your product, you still are their friend, okay? Because what's the best thing in business anyway? Relationships. Relationships are the bedrock of any successful business. So by continuing to interact with them, it's a subtle reminder that yes, we did share something with them, but people will not buy from you until they know, like, and trust you. So continuing to engage with them on social media is showing them you care. It's showing, it's building that know, like, and trust factor, okay? So talking with them about other things besides your product or business, right? That's going to continue to build that. So that is my number three tip. And my number four tip, or maybe that was number four. I always lose track of my tips, guys. Uh, number five is going to be uh, ask for the sale. At some point, you have to ask for the sale. So, um, you know, ask not, get not. Easy ways to do this. Hey, we've been visiting, um, I shared with you a while back about this certain product that could help with whatever problem they're having, right? I'm super excited for you to get started on your journey towards healing if it's about a product. Um, when when are you gonna wanna order that? Are you still, is this still on your radar? Are you still considering, you know, joining this company to better your situation? You know, when we talked, you said that you wanted to stay home with your kids and your maternity leave was almost over. Are you ready to get started today? So we, we're gonna remind them of why they initiated the contact with you. If you're doing a good job of attraction marketing, people are gonna come to you. They're gonna ask you what product or service you're offering or what product or company you're offering. And you're gonna remind them why they sought you out. And when you do, it's going to tap those emotions as to why they reached out to you in the first place. So by you saying, hey, you know, when we first talked, you were super excited about the opportunity to maybe stay home with the kids. Uh, is this still on your radar? Are you ready to get started? So that's how you ask for the sale and close the sale. Just remember all these ways of following up are ways to build trust, ways to build the no like and trust factor so that eventually you will get to the result you're wanting. And the last thing I'm gonna leave you with is a statistic. And statistics show that no one will buy or join you not no one, but 80% of people who do buy and join you do it after the seventh and the 22nd time. So if you're leaving a link and you're only interacting with that person one or two or three or four or five or even six times, you're not getting to the sweet spot. 80% of people who join do it after the seventh touch-in. So you've got to get after number seven. So I hope these provided you some tips and ways to do that. And if you got value from this video, please like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell notification so you'll get my next video. Peace out, I'll see you at the top.